What is up guys, Axhack here, and welcome to the PC Build Log. Uh, here are all the parts for the PC, I'm going to go through each and every single one of them with you guys, and then we're probably going to do like a quick time lapse video for you guys to uh, get this PC build up and running. Anyway, let's go over all of the parts for the PC here. Uh, first off, we have the motherboard, which is right here. This is the MSI Gaming M5 motherboard. Uh, with the motherboard, you obviously need a processor to go with it, which and that's why we have this. This is the Intel i5-6600K. Uh, now, the 6600K does not come with a stock fan, so you actually have to get a cooling supply to go with it, which is where this comes into play. This is the Corsair H80i GT. Uh, this is going to be our cooling supply unit. Um, for our graphics card, we had the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, Founders Edition. Uh, for RAM, we have the G-Skills Aegis, 2 8GB RAM, so we're looking at 16 gigs total in this build. Uh, for our storage, we are using this Kingston 480GB SSD. And we are also going to be recycling this old Hitachi hard drive that I found lying around in my attic. Uh, so this is this is 160 gigs, by the way. So we're looking at about a little over 600 gigs. For our case, we are using the Deep Cool Tesseract. Uh, this is a $40 case. It was one of the cheapest case. Um, the Mesmerex sold gave me shit because it wasn't a name brand case, but uh, you know what? We're going to see how well it works. Uh, there's a, a little side panel window, as you guys can see right here. Uh, and, yeah, that's that's all the parts for this PC build. Um, my main thought when I initially started planning this build was, how can I future-proof it? Which is why we have a current-gen CPU, a Skylake-compatible processor, and DDR4 RAM. That was my initial thought when uh, planning this build. Uh, the final total, counting taxes, shipping, and any potential discounts, such as this uh, 6600 that I only got for $200 at Micro Center. By the way, none of this is sponsored. Not sponsored. All right. uh, but yeah, the final price for uh, this entire build is $1,200. Yeah. So... This is kind of a bit of a high-end build, so to speak. It's not really a budget build. Um, if you were expecting a budget build, uh, sorry, I guess. But um, anyway, let's get to building this sucker, shall we? Okay, so um, everything is kind of scattered about because I was uh, re basically just reading up on you know all these materials on where they go etc etc uh because well i haven't built a pc since i was a kid and that was back when keyboard and mouse were using sata uh, no wait not sata sorry ps2 connections so um right now we're working on the motherboard right here uh the cpu is in obviously the processor we got the ram sticks already in here as well right now we're just trying to work out where the cables kind of go um you probably notice uh well there, I, I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol here because uh we were wiping off the um the thermal pasting off of some of the items here uh but we do have thermal paste uh somewhere on this table i have absolutely no idea where it is right now oh there it is Right, we are using Arctic Silver thermal paste for uh, this build. So uh, that's gonna come once we uh, attach the cooler to the CPU unit. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna continue working on this build. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, that's it. I've finally finished putting together the computer. Uh, I'm be honest, my cable management kind of sucks a little bit. Um. I mean, you got some of the cables in the back, but then there's also some of the cables out front, and, uh, yeah, my cable management has never really been that great, but, uh, yeah, 
Hopefully it doesn't really affect anything. I, I could hear a whole bunch of people probably screaming at me right now because of the uh, horrible cable management, but um, yeah. Alright, it works. I'm in the BIOS menu. Uh, that was, that was great. Everything's here. The CPU is, uh, there. It could be overclocked if I wanted to. Memory, 16 gig RAMs are right there. The two hard drives are right there. Fans are running. Two CPU fans. I don't know why there are whatever uh, anyway I guess next thing to do is to install operating system and we'll be good alright uh, we are installing Windows uh, I've actually had an offline installation media of Windows 10 on this house stark sigil um, USB flash drive that I got in Loot Crate some time ago uh, I'm hoping it still works because technically the free upgrade period for Windows 10 is already over for about a week now. So, uh, yeah, let's let's hope it doesn't think I'm pirating it or anything. Here we go. Okay, well, the operating system, we've finished installing it. Uh, all we got to do now is uh, install some drivers and then we'll run a benchmark test. So uh, let me install the drivers really quick and... Um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Uh, we uh, finally finished installing all those drivers and stuff. Um, we are about to run a stress test in 3D Mark right now. It is the Fire Strike stress test. So uh, we're gonna be uh, seeing how well the uh, computer does. You know, it, it is a stress test after all. Um, right now it is not overclocked. We will overclock this computer in the future, but it is not going to be at this time right now. Um, so basically what we're doing right now, we're getting a sort of, uh, a default benchmark for, uh, you know, all the uh, default settings and stuff. So, um, I'm going to run this stress test right now, uh, and, you know... We'll be back with the results in a bit. Alright guys, the benchmarking tests are in. As you guys can see here, I've scored a 97% on Greedy Mark's Fire Strike Stress Test. And, well, I need at least a 97% to uh, pass. Um, anyway, our average frame rate seems to be in the uh, low, to, low to mid 80s at most. Alright. There were a couple of uh, times where it tops out, but it's averaging around the 80s. Uh, CPU temperature is staying steady at around 77 degrees Celsius, 76 degrees Celsius. Uh, CPU temp, highest it's ever gone up to, was roughly 40 degrees, so it's roughly around the 39, 40 degrees Celsius range. Uh, GPU load is 98%. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the important bit right there. Uh, anyway, um, this is just the default settings. Uh, if you guys want the overclock settings, stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna get my, uh, pal Mesmer XO to overclock this thing for me. He is a lot better at this than I am, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I'll have some overclocking results for you guys in, uh, part two of this build. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed part one. It took me like an entire day to get this entire build finished. It was hell. Uh, but if you guys like it, it, yeah, if you guys like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave some comments. Uh, and uh, until then, remember guys, I am Axe Hack, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!